What's up, guys? TMFM. Want to tell y'all a little true story right here, right quick? Yeah, all right. Well, this true story is that I had a friend growing up, and I'm not going to say his name, but it's true. And uh, he stayed at my house quite a good bit, you know, and uh, I gave him hell. I ain't going to lie. I gave, him, I gave him hell, but he was a good friend to me, and uh, I still talk to him from time to time. But, uh, yeah, so this friend of mine, sometimes he didn't have a lot of sense when it comes to certain things. So one day he decided, he said, Tommy, do you mind if I make a sandwich? I said, no, go ahead, bud. You can make a sandwich at the house. Go ahead. So he goes in there and he starts putting mayonnaise on his bread and gets his ham and turkey out, salt and pepper. And I went up to him and I said, are you kidding me? He said, what's wrong? I said, man, you put the mayonnaise on the wrong side of the bread. This fool going to put mayonnaise on the opposite side. So he got mayonnaise on the inside and the outside. I'm trying to tell you. The man had mayonnaise on the inside and the outside. So a day or two goes by. He said, Tommy. Man, I'm hungry, man. You mind if I get a pack of these saltine crackers? And I said, yeah, man, go ahead. You good? So he opened up saltine crackers. I said, you dumbass. He said, what's wrong? I said, didn't you see that the other side's resellable? Now, they might make resellable the saltine crackers nowadays, but they didn't back in the day. And that fool looked at the other end and said, dang, it is, ain't it? Last one for him. One day he needed, he come to the house, my whole family was there, need to use the bathroom. So he goes into the bathroom and uh, I guess he got, he done his business and it's time to come out. It was just like this right here. All right, door shut, right? He opened up door, door open. I said, don't you come out that fucking bathroom. I'll beat your ass. Man, I shut the door back. Two and a half hours later, my daddy said, Tommy, where the hell is Chris at? Sorry, I said his name. Oh, well, where's he at? I said, he's in the bathroom. Still, it's been two and a half hours. Chris, you all right in there? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Get your ass out of here. I can't. Why? Because Tommy said if I come out, he's going to beat my ass. My daddy said, come on out of that bathroom. He ain't going to do nothing to you. He opens that door like this I say, you come out of that bathroom, I'll beat your ass. And I shut the door back. My daddy said, Chris, get your ass out of here. He ain't going to do nothing to you. So he finally opens up the door. I let him out, go on about our day. Well, I'm going to tell you, he's a good friend. He always was. We don't talk as much as we used to, but we used to cut up like that all the time. Need to start hanging out with him more so we can cut up some more. Y'all have a good day.